Oh, oh, ha, ha. Hey there, animals. Hey, what's going on here? What time is it? Y'all seen that story, Shamans? This week, we're looking at season five's dramatic pace. Two traits, impossible decision, and point of no return emotionally. Impossible decision. Here we are in season five, and it's time for your characters to face a decision that seems just straight up impossible. Don't make me do this. It's not fair. Typically, your characters are faced with two equally terrible choices and are forced to pick one. In rare cases, you'll present your characters with two terrible choices and they'll engineer a third choice out of thin air. This works when the third choice is just as terrible as the two being decided upon. It's not as great when the third choice is some kind of cop-out, where the problem's solved and everybody lives happily ever after. That undermines the stakes, Smallville. But for the most part, the juice is in presenting a choice with no secret escape verge. It's A or B, and they both feel like things you can't possibly accept. The decision is impossible, because no matter what you choose, you can't live with that decision. Usually this decision takes place at the end of season five, but it doesn't have to. Examples, please! The Sopranos, season five. Back in the day, Tony Soprano grew up with his cousin, Tony Blundetto, aka Tony B. They were close like brothers. In the 80s, though, Tony B got pinched and went to jail for 17 years. Now, here in season five, he's finally out. He tries to go straight, falls back into crime, and kills the wrong guys in a New York power struggle. Johnny Sack demands that Tony Soprano hand over his cousin, specifically to be tortured and killed for what he's done. Here, Tony is faced with an impossible decision. If he doesn't hand him over, then he's at war with New York. He can't have that. If he does hand him over, then he's voluntarily leading his beloved cousin to be tortured to death. Oh! What can he do? He comes up with a third option. He tracks down Tony B himself and gives him a quick, non-tortured death. He then tells Johnny Sack where he can find his cousin's body. Tony B dies, but at least it wasn't horrifically painful. And though they're unhappy, Tony's avoided going to war with New York. Season 5 of Lost, where's that impossible decision? We've learned by Season 5 that there was an incident on the island that the Dharma Initiative dealt with by building the hatch and instating the numbers and button-pushing protocol. Stuck back in the 1970s, Daniel Faraday theorizes that if they detonate Charles Whitmore's H-bomb in the right place, they can neutralize the incident before it happens. They can nullify the electromagnetic pocket completely, meaning the hatch the button pushing, it doesn't have to happen. Desmond doesn't fail to push it one day, and Oceanic Flight 815 doesn't crash. Our characters never end up on the island. Do they do it? Do they purposely detonate a hydrogen bomb? Doing so could alter the timeline and prevent all the death and tragedy they've suffered since the crash. Is that a good thing, a bad thing? It could do absolutely nothing to the timeline and just explode in their faces and kill them all. That's not good at all. It's an impossible thing. Decision. In the end, they do it. Juliet sets off that bomb. <laughs> Season 5 is also time for a point of no return emotionally. In season 3, we had a point of no return that emphasized circumstance. This time, we want a point of no return, but we want to lean into the emotion of it all. What does that look like? You can do what Rescue Me did. At the end of season 5, Uncle Teddy shoots Tommy for encouraging everybody to fall off the wagon and get back into booze. This results in a fatal car crash for Teddy's wife, and Teddy blames Tommy for Tommy. Tommy, this is a big point of no return emotionally. He's indirectly caused his aunt's death, and his beloved uncle just put a bullet in him for it. Moving forward, things are never going to be the same emotionally. Grey's Anatomy Season 5, what you got? At the end of Season 5, George is hit by a bus. The doctors desperately try to save him, but his injuries are too great, and he dies. This is a big point of no return emotionally. One of their own, a fellow resident they've been working alongside this entire time, has died. Things will never be the same. That's it for Season 5's Dramatic Pace. Next week, we're looking at Season 5's Dramatic Evolution.